Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I've got a new piercing video for you. And um, well, I'll basically say this with every new piercing video I've done lately. But I'm working on redoing all my old piercing videos with better quality and just having all the information in one video rather than in like five separate videos. Just because I feel like it's more handy to just have this as one thing per piercing. So today I've got a video for you about the helix piercing, which is um, this little ring here in my case. I'll just pull you up closer when we're going to like change the jewelry and all. Uh, so you can see it better, but basically any uh, piercing in this area of the eye... I was gonna say eye. Area of the ear is considered a helix piercing. And if it's on the front, then it's a front helix. But anyway, this is just a normal helix. Um, yeah, basically it's one of those piercings that's like so common that it's basically considered an, just an earring. Like, I don't know, like back in like primary school, elementary school, whatever you call it. Um, I already had classmates who had a helix piercing. So, yeah. It's basically one of the most common like piercing piercings that aren't earrings yet are still sort of like earrings in term of, terms of socially accepted, I guess, maybe. I don't know. It's just a common piercing. Point being, um, it is a cardless piercing. And yeah, um, I'll just tell you all about the like whole process of getting the piercing first. Some tips and tricks, stuff like that. And then we'll get to changing the jewelry. As with the last couple of videos, I'm just going to take out this ring. And then put the same ring back in. Because I don't really have other jewelry that I want to put in it. Like I'm pretty simple when it comes to jewelry. I just want it to look pretty and... I don't really change it a whole lot, um, but yeah, then you can still see just how it works to like, take it out and put it back in. Um, by the way, before we start, this is actually a, um, a makeup look, obviously, but this is also a tutorial which I'll link somewhere up here. Um, so yeah, that's actually my main thing, makeup tutorials, in case you don't follow me yet on YouTube. Um, if you want to see makeup tutorials, you can always subscribe to my channel, that's really my main thing. The piercings are a side thing, I guess, yeah. Um, but anyway, about the piercing, um, for a start, when you're getting the piercing done, um, really I can only, te only tell you my experience, obviously, but um, with me, the piercer, well, they obviously, like, they all should do that little thing, disinfect the ear, obviously, then they put a dot there, and like, well, first, the piercer actually asked me uh, whether or not I wanted to be able to wear a ring in it once it heals. Just because um, if you get it more to the, towards the center of the ear, then you're going to need a really big ring to be able to get around the ear. Um, I wanted to be able to wear a ring in it, because that's really just the whole look I envisioned with it in the first place. Um, so I got it quite uh, far to the side. Also, I just think it fits better with my ear to have it this way, but it is, this is up to your personal preference, really. Um, then she just put the dot there, basically, and asked me if I was okay with the placement. Um, at that point, if you do want it to be higher or lower on the ear, don't be afraid to speak up. They ask for a reason, because once they put the needle through, then it's there and they can't move the hole around anymore. Um, so really do be, like, do be clear towards the piercer where exactly you want the piercing to be done. Um, and then the needle goes through, and I know this like the most common question with piercings. How much did it hurt? Well, I always say, well, for one... You know, like pain is personal in the sense of, for some reason, for some reason, like I don't know, I'm not a doctor, but for some people they have very sensitive ears. For other people, they have a very sensitive stomach. For me, my belly button piercing really hurt. For a friend of mine, it barely hurt at all. Um, for her, for her, ear piercings hurt a lot. For me, my ear piercings don't really hurt much at all. So I really can't predict how much your piercing is going to hurt. Um, but what I can tell you is, of course, a needle grow goes through the flesh, so of course it's going to sting a little, because needle through the skin, obviously. But at the same time, it's only a very quick, like, you know, it's, it's an ear. It's not extremely huge. So, you know, it only takes a moment, like, to just sting the needle through. Like, the word sting just almost takes more time to say than the actual process of the needle going through the ear. So, you know, like, it's not something to be very terrified of. Like, you'll survive, it won't be awful. Like, it's gonna hurt a bit, but it's not going to be excruciatingly awful. Because otherwise no one would still be getting piercings done if it was that horrible to get one done. Um, so, yeah, this is not something to be afraid of. And I personally think that the piercing is totally worth it. 
Um, then the healing process starts. They usually put a uh, bar in it instead of a ring, just because a ring moves around more and can irritate the piercing while it's healing. And there's one thing with cardless piercings, if they get irritated, they might create bumps, like red liquid-filled bumps. Really annoying, not pretty, and they can last for months if you're unlucky. Um, so yeah, it's best to prevent that. Um, what I basically did is just twice a day for like the first couple of months at least, I either hung my ear awkwardly in a cup of sea salt solution or just wetted a cotton pad with sea salt solution and put that on my ear for a couple of minutes. And then obviously carefully dried it with a uh, piece of tissue paper. Um, sea salt solution, by the way, this is a very natural method of like supporting the piercing in healing itself, basically. Uh, it basically consists of a cup of um, boiled water And then half a teaspoon of sea salt. It needs to be sea salt because that's the most natural thing for that purpose. Um, obviously wait for it to cool down enough so you don't burn your piercing. But that should go without saying. Um, yeah, that's basically how I, how I healed it. Um, the healing period is about 9 to 12 months. I think I kept my mind in for about a year just because it was my first piercing and I was quite paranoid about ruining it somehow. So I really kept it in a long time, the original jewelry. Before I get it the courage to finally change the piercing, I do have a video up about that, but it's really old and the quality is not recommendable. <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, like it's to me just a very easy piercing also to change because it is on the outside of the ear. So it's easy to just move your ear around and get to it. Um, it is important to really wait until it's fully healed, by the way, before changing it. Just because otherwise the inside might not be fully healed yet, so do keep that in mind. Um, and now that it's healed, basically, it's a piercing that, like, I rinse it in the shower sometimes when I'm taking a shower anyway. And it probably gets some rinsing as well whenever I wash my hair. But I don't really consciously still take care of it. It's just there, it's healed, and it's fine, and it's just doing its own thing, existing. Um, so yeah, as I said, it's also a very easy piercing. The only times I have issues with this piercing is if I either wear jewelry that's too cheap. Like, if there's too much nickel in it, then my piercings just get very, very angry at me. Um, and start to get irritated and stuff like that. It's not nice, it's not pretty. Um, or when I wear jewelry that has a very weird shape. Like, I have this star-shaped uh, ring... That's basically not really a ring, it's star-shaped. But the point being, there are no flat edges to it that are big enough to get through the hole. So there's always this weird, like, turn inside the piercing hole, which really irritated the piercing after a while. Like, I wore it for months without problems, and then suddenly the problem started. So that's one other thing, uh, one other tip I can give you. If you're getting issues with your piercing for some reason unknown... Check the jewelry because it might be as simple as to changing the jewelry and your problems with the piercing might be over. So yeah, if you recently changed the jewelry and you're suddenly having an irritated piercing, check the jewelry first because that might be the culprit. Um, and yeah, that's basically everything I think I have to say about the piercing overall. I hope I didn't forget anything. Now let's start on uh, changing it. For start, we'll need a um, hand sanitizer to... Sanitize the hands, obviously. Um, also, alternatively, you could use some rubbing alcohol to uh, clean the piercing skin. Piercing skin. The skin around the piercing as well. Um, especially recommendable if you are very prone to infections and stuff. Because that's, you know, like, there's not a risk you want to take. Um, other than that, if you're going to switch it for a piece of jewelry with a ball on it. Or if the current jewelry is one of those things with screw-on balls, like the... Um, basically just a stud. I do recommend using rubber gloves just because it will give you more grip to really twist it off. Um, and also for that purpose a pair of pliers might really really help. What I'm using is a click ring which is basically, you'll see it in a moment of close obviously, but a ring that just has a little, little bit of a hinge. It has a hinge and it just opens up and it closes up and I'm making it sound far more complicated than it is but it is to me the easiest piece of jewelry because there are no loose parts that can get lost if you drop them. Um, and you're guaranteed to be able to close it, because when you close the hinge, it's just going to move itself to the right position, so you can just push it shut. Um, to open those, I like to use one of these pliers. Not sure if they're called pliers, but I bought them at a piercing shop. Basically, they just press it open, basically, 
which to me is just the easiest way to change these uh, babies out. And what I'm going to do next is just take out this piece of jewelry and clean it and then put it back in. Um, alternatively, obviously, if you're going to wear different jewelry in it, put the different jewelry in next. And yeah, let's uh, get on to it. Okay, I hope my camera is going to stay in focus like this. Um, but what I'm first going to do is just make sure that the little segment that's going to pop open is actually on the outside of the ear. And then I'm just going to shove this in and um, open it up. And then we can just see the little hole here. And here you can see the jewelry, it has this little hinge here that you can just open and close. Very handy, yet very difficult to focus on. Anyway, uh, stuff is clean now, so we're going to carefully put it back in. Okay, I got it in. Um, it's also difficult to do it on camera because it's almost like I tried to do it with the pliers, but it didn't work. And with my fingers, I'm obviously in front of the camera. Um, but yeah, you just stick it in basically and then uh, whatever jewelry you're wearing and then just close it up. And then it's on there, um, with a click ring you are supposed to actually hear a click when it clicks a shot, so you know that's really stuck in there. Um, if you're using something like, you know, like a bar with a screw on ball, just make sure you really put it on tight enough that it won't just randomly fall off. And here done. So we're done and that basically brings us to the end of this video. Um, I really hope it was useful to you for if you want to get piercings or are just curious about piercings or just have a fresh piercing or whatever else the reason may be why you're watching this. At any rate, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did enjoy this video, please click the like button. It would really help me out. And if you have any questions about piercings, you can always ask them. Um, do keep in mind, please, though, that I'm not a piercer, I'm not a doctor, I'm just someone with piercings, so I can really only reply to you from my own experience and just common sense. And trust me, my common sense is questionable, so just keep that in mind. <laughs> now, seriously, though, basically, just keep in mind that if you're really, really concerned about your piercing, go to a piercer, because they're the professional, and they can look at it and really give you good advice personally. Um, but yeah, anyway, at any rate, if you do have questions and want to ask me questions about piercings, you can always ask and I will try to give you a useful answer. Um, for now, at any rate, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope to see you next time. Bye!